What do you mean by a sample data control system? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju, and welcome to the Backwards Engineering community, where I make it very easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term sampled data control systems? Well, let's find out. So, in any type of a device that we take, be it any type of a device, there will be two main components. First one is the controlling element and the second one is what you refer to as a plant. So a plant is a combination of a process and an actuator. So let us take the example of an air conditioner. So here in the case of an air conditioner, the plant has got a process to do that is condition the air that is here. That is the process that this plant has to do and it has got an actuator for the purpose of actually conditioning this particular air. So a plant is a combination of a process and an actuator. An actuator is simply but any device that converts an electrical signal into a mechanical or a mechanical motion. That is here in the case of an air conditioner when we give an electrical signal this actuator conditions the air that is here present around us. So that is what an actuator means. So this particular plant this plant is referred to with a particular transfer function. This plant is referred to with a particular transfer function. So in the case of a sampled data control system, what we do is that it is a control system in which a digital controller is used for the purpose of controlling a continuous time plant. So here a continuous time plant is controlled with the help of a digital controller. Let me make that simple for you. So in the case of an air conditioner, it is conditioning the air in real time. That is it is continuously conditioning the air around us but it is controlled with a digital controller. This is a digital controller that is a remote. So with the help of a digital controller, we are controlling that particular plant. We are actually controlling that particular plant to give the controlled output for us. So such kind of a control system in which a continuous time plant is controlled with the help of a digital controller is simply what you refer to as a sample data control system. So I have written it down a control system in which a continuous time plant is controlled with a digital controller is simply what you refer to as a sampled data control system. As simple as that, guys. So now here, let us draw a block diagram of this particular sample data control system. So first, here, we would have an input, say, R of T over here. This R of T. So here, this R of T is an analog input. So we have to convert it into a digital signal. So here we will have an error signal E of T. And now this signal is passed through a sampler and an analog to digital converter that is an ADC. This is passed through a sampler and an ADC. So what a sampler does is that a sampler, it converts a continuous time signal to a sequence of pulses. That is what a sampler does. It converts a continuous time signal to a sequence of pulses or in simple terms, it converts a continuous time signal into a discrete time signal. That is what a sampler does. And now we have an ADC or an analog to digital converter. So it gives a binary code for each of these pulses or it gives a binary code for each of these samples. So that is what an ADC does. So now here we have a digital signal say F of KT. It is a sample discrete signal. Now this can be passed through a digital computer. So now this is then passed through a digital to analog converter or a DAC and a hold circuit. And now here we now get an analog signal which is then passed through this particular plant. So now here we would now give a feedback element over here. So this much portion over here it constitutes of a digital controller. 
So here, what a DAC and a hold circuit, what it does is that it converts the output binary codes into continuous time signals. That is what this particular DAC and hold circuit does. So here, the input and the output of this particular digital computer are digital signals. Whereas this particular error signal and this particular output of this whole digital controller are analog signals. Or in simple terms, the input and the output of this entire digital controller are analog signals. So here we have a sampler and an ADC to convert this analog signal into digital signal and then it is given to a digital computer over here. And now from this, in order to convert this digital signal onto an analog signal, here a DAC and a whole circuit is provided over here. This is the basic circuit diagram of a sample data control system. As simple as that, guys. This does is simply what you refer to as a sampled data control system. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have clear understanding of what I refer to as a sampled data control system. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.